Today I'm going to be doing a review for you of the Iron Flask versus the Hydro Cell and these are both 32 ounce containers. We really love the Hydro Cells. This one belongs to one of my family members and this one's going to belong to another one of our family members. They seem very similar. We just want to see if they're about the same and we're also going to do an experiment. Hydro Cell versus Iron Flask. We're going to see which one keeps water warmer for longer. So we're going to put boiling water in both of them and then we're going to measure the temperature of the water about three to five hours later and I'll let you know how long it's been when we do measure the temperature of the water and you'll get to see me add the boiling water so let's just go ahead and do the unboxing of the iron flask right away you can get a close-up look at the box in case it's not clear this box is marbled and that's what the color of the iron flask should be and it does have a lid without a straw on it and you can see this lid has no straw it has a lid with an opener, not a straw. And this is our iron flask, nicely packed here. And I do like this particular design. There are multiple colors. And even though this is a 32 ounce size or a quart size, there are multiple sizes that you can get the iron flask in. And whoa, cool. Look, it actually does have the sippy straw. I didn't think it did. So that's kind of cool. There, it looks like they are a match. The material of the hydro cell is is more kind of rough it feels like some kind of material is over the stainless steel whereas this iron flask feels more kind of smooth like it's actually just the stainless steel with paint over it I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of fluid in both of these and just sip out of both of them and see if one seems easier to sip out of than the other so I discovered something else inside you can see that these are slightly different this is the hydro cell this is the iron flask flask and I probably wouldn't use this particular lid with hot water just because this seems like silicone-ish in here but it could come in handy for certain things and I also discovered this too this comes with the iron flask which I didn't know but this straw slides in to this hole here just slides in and holds on like that I'm gonna try it both with the straw in it without the straw in it to see which one's more pleasurable to drink out of but for cold beverages I think this straw would be great with this lid also to be clear the hydro cell comes with these two lids the iron flask comes with these two lids plus one other lid which we'll look at again before the end of this video I'm gonna go ahead and add the sippy lid to the iron flask oh here's another unique feature look at this this folds open here but this is like a little latch so I guess you could like cook it onto something and just hang it from it which is kind of cool almost like a carabiner style piece to the lid and these are both just full of cold water right now go ahead and just see what it's like to drink out of the hydro cell good for sipping on works good feels pretty similar on this particular feature, I wouldn't say one's better than the other, but you can see the iron flask has a thicker or a bigger nozzle for sipping out of, but they're both about equal as far as how it feels to drink out of. I'm going to go ahead and add back the straw to this since this is unique to the iron flask, and I'm going to drink out of that with the straw and see what that's like. It makes a good sipping straw. You don't have to turn it upside down if you've got this straw inside it. So that's kind of cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some boiling water to both and we're going to close them up immediately and then we're going to measure the temperature three to five hours later. By the way, this is that third lid. The third lid is more like a stainless steel top, kind of like a thermos style. Okay, so you can see we've got our freshly boiled two quarts of water, adding a quart of water to both our hydro cell and our iron flask. Got the hydro cell full. And we've got the iron flask full. We are going to be using the lids that have no openings on them for both the iron flask and the hydro cell. And this one also has no way to leak any of the heat. They are both well insulated, I can tell, because I'm not feeling any heat from either of them. Even though I just put boiling hot water in both of these, we'll see how that holds up over time and which one actually holds the heat better. I am back now to measure the temperature and it has been just about four hours. 
jars. And I want to just show you here in the middle, right here in this jar, I have uh, ice water and I'm going to reset the thermometer with the ice water each time so that we give a fair measurement to each one of these. Let's just go ahead and open up the iron flask first. All right, iron flask is open and we're opening up and they're both still cool on the outside, but they're both warm here at the tops where the lids are. You can see our thermometer here. We are going to go ahead and put it into the cold water. You can see it moving there. We're gonna go ahead and see what the temperature shows first in the iron flask. And so there you go. You can see that temperature rising up there. What is it gonna go to after four hours of sitting inside this container? It's going close to 160. That's not bad for that long. Since the boiling temperature at sea level is about 212 degrees, I'm at a higher elevation. So the boiling temperature is a little lower than 212 degrees, but it looks like it might settle in there somewhere around 100 and maybe 68, 160. 70. All right, I'm feeling like it's probably settled in right there somewhere around 168 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and pull it out. We're going to reset it, put it inside the cold again. You can see it drop way down there really quickly. All right, seems like it's probably pretty close to where it was before. So we're going to go ahead and measure again for this time the hydro cell and ooh, jumping up pretty quickly. See if it goes higher than the iron flask. You know, we've got to beat 178 degrees. It's going up pretty quickly. Wow, that's impressive. Let's see here where it's going to end at. Going close to 180. All right. So it looks like it settled in right about 180 to 181 maybe. So we can definitely say that the hydro cell kept the water more insulated and warmer than the iron flask. Now we know that, we can go ahead and say that the hydro cell is slightly better at keeping the water more insulated. Let's go ahead and wrap this review up. I was wrong, I misstated this Hydro cell actually kept the water about 13 degrees warmer than the iron flask did, which you witnessed, and I just stated wrong. Just to be clear, it's about 12 to 13 degrees warmer than the water was in the iron flask after four hours. That being said, I did confirm with my wife and I checked this bottle was a little bit more full of the hot water than the iron flask was, and that may have contributed to just having the extra airspace in the iron flask may have have made a difference in how the temperature was. So they were close enough to say that they both kept it very warm, but um, as you saw, the hydro cell did keep it slightly warmer. Just to recap on the bottles, I think that they're both very durable. They are both double walled stainless steel and they're both BPA free as far as the plastic in them is concerned. And they both claim vacuum sealed double walled. That's where the insulation comes from, the double walls, but the vacuum sealed, I suppose, would make it even more insulated and they come with the lids that you see here, plus the hydro cell also included this lid, the iron flask, included these two lids and the straw that connects with this lid. The iron flask has a slightly wider mouth that could help it to be cleaned a little bit easier. They both have the sippy option. I'd say that they're pretty equally matched. You're just going to have to decide for yourself which one you think is better. I'm not sure that I can call it at this point. I know our family really likes the hydro cells. This one's new to our family. They both have many color options. I think the iron flask has slightly more and they have different size options. So I hope you enjoyed my review and unboxing of this iron flask and the comparison of the installation with the hydro cell. If you did like my review, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.